on your knees. What's the issue? I'm not gonna say it one more time. Bro, what's the issue? On your knees. Give me my gun! Where did you give me my gun? In Wichita, Kansas, a mom and her two daughters had just gotten inside their house when the mom spotted someone approaching. Is that Joe or one of them? Oh, get inside! <laughs> he appeared to be acting erratically. After pounding on the door for a while, he suddenly took off. Seems like this guy had some beef with them. On October 16, 2018, at about 1.35 p.m. in Alberta, Canada, a homeowner at work got an alert from his ring camera about some motion at his front door, leading him to check the live feed. What he saw was an unexpected daytime visitor. Initially, he wasn't too worried since the person's outfit looked like what you'd see on utility or telecom workers in the neighborhood, but things got sketchy when the guy started knocking loudly on the door and looking through the windows, clearly up to no good. Things escalated when he tried the door handle with a gloved hand, probably to avoid leaving prints, and even signaled for a buddy to come over. He called the cops, and soon enough, these would-be burglars were identified and caught. You might wonder why they'd attempt a break-in during broad daylight. Well, it turns out 56% of burglaries happen in the day, mainly because that's when homes are often empty. Summer sees the most break-ins, likely because more people are out and about or on vacation. In Austin, Texas, there was this guy trying to break into a place. He actually made it inside. But what he didn't see coming was the homeowner getting an alert on their phone and calling the cops. Stay right where you're at. Keep your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Higher. Turn and face the house. Drop whatever's in your right hand. Just drop it. Drop it. No, 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 no. Hey, stay where you're at. Just surround it. Not, not compliant. Not compliant. Jump in the fence door. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Open out the back door. When he strolled out after grabbing some stuff, the police were right there waiting for him. Now, he's got to do some time for what he did. A guy walks up to a house in the middle of the day, aiming to break in. He goes for the lock, but man, that thing was tough. He tries over and over, but no dice. Spends a solid eight minutes on it, but it's no use. Eventually, he just gives up and leaves. Imagine the irony if, after all that effort trying to bust open the door, he found out his own car had been swiped while he was at it. A homeowner spotted a guy in her backyard attempting to break into her house. Upon receiving the notification, she chose to confront the intruder through the intercom. Okay. The moment she mentioned the police, he took off. It. It's satisfying to see this fool's plan get completely derailed. In Memphis, Tennessee, some guys were trying to steal a car that was left unlocked. What they didn't realize was that they were being watched. They bolted when the homeowner shouted at them. Police showed up at the scene not long after. That very night, these guys got nabbed by the cops because they were attempting to break into other cars in the neighborhood too. 
two guys attempted to break into a couple of cars parked in a driveway. Their attempt set off the car alarm, which scared them so much they bolted. The alarm really did its job well that time. Using steering wheel locks, security systems for vehicles, and tracking devices can not only prevent theft, but also help get your car back if it does get stolen. In August 2019, a home security camera in Troy, Michigan caught a suspicious man wandering around inside a house, looking lost as he had broken in. Although the camera didn't catch what happened afterward, the homeowner was terrified when she woke up to find the man standing over her bed. He ran off before the police could get any leads on who he was or his entry method. It wasn't until two months later, in October, that he showed up again on camera, this time in Rochester Hills, Michigan. The video showed him climbing onto a hot tub and looking through a window before leaving the scene. Despite the homeowner's report, the man remained free for months. Then, in January 2020, he was caught on camera again, this time peeking into a kitchen window in Bloomfield Township. The homeowner got an alert from their security system, showing the man hiding behind a tree and later walking along the side of the house. His continued presence in the area was unsettling. Eventually, in February 2020, the police caught him after a chase in a Bloomfield Township residential area, the same neighborhood as his prior activities. Arrested at last, 27-year-old Donovan Johnson, a bankruptcy attorney, was issued a citation, a restraining order, and required to wear a GPS tether until his court appearance. Following his release on bond, details on the case's conclusion were scarce, but a conviction would likely mean he's still serving time. Two guys rolled up to someone's house, trying to pull a fast one. They spun this tale about the homeowner selling their brother headphones, but all he got was an empty box. Hey, open up the door. What's up? Come talk to me. No chat. Come talk. Call the police and do what y'all gonna do. I'm ready to do something. When they realized their scam wasn't going to fly with this homeowner, they beat it. Better luck next time, dummies. A guy turned up at someone's place and started peeking into cars with a flashlight, likely trying to break in. Luckily, he didn't manage to steal any cars that night. The rates of vehicle theft actually vary a lot by state. California and Texas have the highest numbers of thefts overall, while Illinois experienced the biggest jump in thefts from 2021 to 2022. In Brooklyn, New York, this guy walks up to a house in broad daylight, clearly up to no good. He goes straight for the doorbell camera, snatches it, and bolts. Bumble, bumble, bumble. 
Fortunately, the homeowner was in, saw the whole thing, and quickly called the cops. In no time at all, the police nabbed him, but it really makes you wonder, why go for the camera? It hardly seems worth the trouble. A doorbell camera caught a car, swerving from the opposite side of the road, trying to dodge a collision with another vehicle. In the attempt, the driver veered off and ended up hitting a tree. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but the damage to the car is definitely going to cost a pretty penny. In Houston, Texas, there's this guy who shows up at a woman's house saying he's handcuffed and needs help, but the woman doesn't open up, thinking it might be a setup or something. Can you please help me? Can you please help me? No, you need to leave. Come on. Come on, man. Can you please help me? Yeah. What's your move here? Would you help the guy out or play it safe like she did? This guy walks up to a house and starts kicking the front door, thinking it's empty and he can break in. As he's at it, his accomplices join in, and for a second, it looks like they're going to make it inside. But what they didn't count on was the homeowner being there, who gave them the scare of their lives. They booked it out of there fast. For those of you who don't know, more than half of all break-ins happen through doors, with 34% of burglars coming in right through the front door. This goes to show, beefing up your door security could really help cut down on home burglaries. This guy shows up at a house in broad daylight when nobody's home, sneaks inside, and steals a bike. Luckily, his face got clearly caught on camera, so hopefully, he'll get caught soon. He doesn't seem like a pro at all. Interestingly, nearly 65% of burglars know their victims, and a whopping 85% of burglaries aren't done by pros but amateurs. This can lead to some pretty risky and unexpected situations. In Brooklyn, New York, this guy makes his way to someone's house, trying to sneak in. But when the homeowner's voice crackles through the intercom, he scrambles for an excuse. Oh. Hello? Can I help you? Hello? No. Got a package here, though. Can I help you? Who you have a you? package here, baby. Can you leave it there? Yeah, come get it. Yeah. Thank you. Coming down. Rodney, go get the package. Okay, take it. Rodney, yeah, bring the silo too. About to try to... Rodney, yeah, he's trying to take the package. The audacity of this guy is something else. Interestingly, nearly half of burglars admit they'd skip a house if they heard sounds coming from inside. This suggests that simulating presence at home, like with TV simulators or radio timers, could actually work to keep burglars at bay. This drunk guy ends up at someone's place in the middle of the night. Let's go. Let's get riding, dude. Come on. Black it. Black it. Black it. Let's go. Do it, dude. The person living there decides not to open the door, which is probably the smartest move. They call the cops instead, and the guy ends up getting arrested. Moral of the story, if you're gonna drink, at least don't be a nuisance to others. In this doorbell video from Louisville, Kentucky, you see a cops banging on a lady's door because they found out her place got hit by bullets, and she didn't even know when it happened.
Why it all went down is still a mystery. Luckily, it seems like nobody got hurt, which is good news. This duo reached someone's car, aiming to swipe stuff from the trunk. Their scheme was foiled when the car alarm blared, sending them scrambling. Turns out, they had been trying their luck with other cars in the area too, prompting a bunch of calls to the police. In the end, these troublemakers were caught by the authorities. Late at night, two guys came up to someone's house and started snooping around, probably looking for a way to get inside. Luckily, they eventually took off without breaking in, probably because they figured out the homeowner was there. This guy heads over to someone's place, trying to swipe a package off their porch. What he didn't realize was that he was under surveillance and got busted right there. Just a heads up for anyone not in the know. The median value of stolen packages hits around $50, making porch piracy a pretty costly issue. Even more, the average worth of a package reported stolen by victims' clocks in at about $81.91. Lex, a teen, was just getting back to her place in Queens after walking dogs when this guy in a mask and camo gear jumps her right at her apartment entrance. The guy, who turned out to be George Va Silu, a guy Lex used to work with, grabs her and tries to pull her away. Lex's mom, Adriana Alvarez, sees the whole thing go down and jumps into action, not even worrying about herself. I never heard her scream like that. No. No, absolutely not. No. No, it's my baby. Can't take her. They end up fighting with this guy down four flights of stairs, and at one point he grabs Lex's hair and slams her against a heater, even whipping out pepper spray to try to keep them down. Managed to grab my hair through the door. I remember being thrown onto the, the heater. He's just pepper spraying me. He's punching me. The noise and calls for help catch the attention of John Velas, their neighbor. He hears Lex screaming, checks it out, and without hesitating, he tackles the guy, stopping the attack right there. She ran to my apartment. I started chasing him. He, he ran across the street. And I threw him on the floor. And once I got on top of him, he couldn't go nowhere. Yeah, I just had angels by my side. I'm just so grateful and so thankful just to have her back. The scuffle left Adriana with a dislocated shoulder and an eye injury, while Lex got scraped up knees from being dragged and thrown around. The attacker got nabbed, charged with a whole list of crimes, and ended up pleading guilty to what he did. In the middle of the day, when the homeowner was out, a bunch of burglars busted into a house. They turned the place upside down, grabbed valuables and cash, and then scrammed. What's really shocking is that about 65% of the time, these burglars actually know the people they're stealing from. And most of the time, 85% in fact, these aren't slick professional thieves, but amateurs. This means the break-ins can get really messy and unpredictable, even dangerous. An armed guy rocked up at someone's place.
The homeowner chatted with him via the intercom, and just like that, the guy bolted. Hey, who is that? Oh, I'm probably got the wrong app. Oh, shit, man. I'm uh, calling the cops, dude. I got the wrong app. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it leaves you scratching your head, right? Like, why was he wandering around armed to the teeth? Really makes you question what he was planning. In Houston, Texas, an older lady drove up in her white mini. Out of nowhere, a burgundy SUV shows up next to her. She didn't really think much of it and went on to enter her house. She was being followed from the bank because she was carrying a big wad of cash. She ended up getting robbed by this guy who popped out of the SUV, decked out in a full mask and a black suit, and ran up to snatch the cash before speeding away. This crook hasn't been caught yet. Though jugging is a scary way to get robbed, knowing what's up and taking steps to be careful can really help dodge such a bullet. This guy rocked up at a house wielding a machete, shouting for the folks inside to come out. Is that you? Is that you? Talk to me. What's the point if you just shoot me in the head? Right? It's anyone's guess what he was planning, but thankfully, the person living there decided not to open the door, dodged a bullet maybe. Turns out, this wasn't his only stop. He was doing the same machete-waving routine at other homes in the neighborhood. Lucky for everyone, neighbors were quick to call the cops, and the police nabbed him the same day. Just before 3 a.m. on Thursday, October 17th, 2019, four masked men broke into a house through the garage door on Colombo Crescent in Maple Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. Once inside, they became violent and harassed two family members. They then tied up all six people in the house and demanded money and jewelry. After they finished their robbery, they escaped in several vehicles. Luckily, the police were able to catch all four of them and they ended up behind bars in Alamo, a distressing incident unfolded for a 61-year-old woman when she was pursued to her home and was robbed, highlighting a concerning trend where perpetrators track victims in their vehicles to their residences for robbery. The attack took place on a Tuesday afternoon as the victim, driving her Mercedes G-Wagon, was entering her garage. It was then that she was ambushed by two men who had trailed her into her driveway. Initially mistaking them for acquaintances, she quickly realized her error as one of the assailants, armed with an AR-style rifle, emerged with the weapon. The victim screamed in terror as she was being robbed, even pleading with the robbers by mentioning her status as a mother in hopes of appealing to their familial bonds. Specifically said, I'm a mother, I have children, you have a mother and a father, please don't hurt me. Nonetheless, her wedding rings, diamonds, and a gold and diamond cross were taken a Rolex watch and uh, my diamond rings, my wedding rings, and uh, my cross, diamond cross, it was all diamond. The culprits escaped in a Lexus, driven by a third partner. The victim was able to recall part of the Lexus's license plate, though it turned out to be registered to another vehicle. Later, sheriff's deputies located the Lexus near the Caldecott Tunnel. Detectives went to the victim's house to list the stolen goods and further investigate the crime. I'm still in shock a little bit, but I think the takeaway from this is that we all have to be aware of our surroundings, and when you pull into your garage, don't get out, close your garage, and then get into your house. 
The victim, who owns a women's clothing shop, speculated if her business drew the robber's attention. That if I taught them business or if they were taught young, that they would have a fruitful career and they wouldn't have to result in this behavior and land themselves in jail, if not worse. She lamented the societal failure, wishing the criminals had chosen to seek legitimate employment rather than engaging in criminal activities. A team of burglars orchestrated a break-in at a home, cleverly dividing their roles for the intrusion. Initially, one of them repeatedly rang the doorbell to see if anyone was inside, while the rest scoped out the backyard for ways to get in. They then regrouped and tried to force open the back door, with two of them eventually breaking through. Inside, they triggered a small Christmas tree connected to a noise-activated clapper switch, alerting one burglar to a surveillance camera. Quickly covering his face, he attempted to disable the camera by pointing it at the wall and then cutting its wire. They also poured liquid bleach on the DVR box, damaging it in hopes of erasing any footage. However, their attempt to destroy the evidence failed, as the DVR's hard drive survived, capturing their break-in on video, leading to their arrest. Early on Wednesday, January 3, 2024, right around 3.15 a.m., a security guard, still in his work gear, had just parked at his apartment complex on the 7,900 block of Morley in Houston, Texas. Right after he parked, three guys came up to him. One of them pulled out a weapon and fired it off. They then pushed him up against his car and swiped his stuff. After they grabbed what they wanted, they booked it in a red four-door sedan. These guys are still out there somewhere, with the cops looking to track them down. On the morning of December 15, 2023, around 7.20 a.m., an individual was in his vehicle at his apartment complex on the 9,900 block of Club Creek in Houston, Texas. While sitting in the driver's seat, an unidentified man suddenly opened the driver's door, brandished a weapon, and forced him out of the vehicle. The assailant then entered the victim's truck and began to drive away. Observing a neighbor preparing to head to work, the victim alerted him to the theft. The neighbor attempted to use his truck to block the thief's escape. However, the thief honked the horn, discharged a weapon through the windshield in the direction of the victim, and then fled the scene. The Houston police are on the hunt for this guy. On the evening of November 20, 2014, around 10.40 p.m., a residence on Marshbrook Drive in Blackley was violently targeted by three men. Armed with makeshift battering rams and dressed in balaclavas and dark attire, they forcefully made their way into the home by breaking through the front door. Inside, they quickly took control. One attacker, armed with a seven-inch kitchen knife, threatened one of the occupants by pressing the knife to their throat. Simultaneously, a second assailant confronted another resident upstairs with a knife. Their raid was fast and calculated, resulting in the theft of keys to an Audi A5 and a BMW motorcycle, in addition to motorcycle gear. Escaping in the stolen Audi and motorcycle, the Audi was later discovered abandoned on Charnwood Road in Blackley, while the BMW motorcycle was not recovered. The culprits, identified as white males, wearing full-face balaclavas and speaking with local accents, instilled a profound sense of fear and intimidation through their actions. In the early morning of February 27th, a break-in was effectively stopped thanks to a unique security feature in a homeowner's residence. The sound of their security alarm woke them up, and they quickly checked their CCTV to find a burglar prying open a window with a crowbar. Despite the loud alarm, the intruder kept going and made his way inside, starting to look around for items to steal. Watching live from their CCTV, 
the homeowners were on edge, waiting for security to arrive. The intruder, undeterred, began moving deeper into the house towards the bedroom. The homeowners had locked the door, but doubted it would hold against the burglar's tools. Just when things seemed most critical, the home's pepper spray alarm went off, releasing a cloud of pepper spray from two dispensers in the sitting room. The burglar was instantly hit by the spray, causing confusion and a hasty retreat. Overwhelmed, he jumped out the window he had come in through and escaped. Security arrived just a minute too late to catch him. The homeowners later said their pepper spray alarm system was to thank for preventing a potentially dangerous situation. In the Mira Mesa area of San Diego, there's been a string of house break-ins that's got the police on high alert. Since March 4th, eight homes have been hit, and it looks like the same crew is behind all of them because they've got a particular way of doing things. They're going after homes on corner lots, probably because it's easier to split without being caught, and they've got more ways to get out. These guys are breaking into houses through the back sliding doors, either smashing them or just walking in when they're not locked. Pull right here, lady. Pull right here. Pull right here. Bro, tell her to pull right bro. No, she's not. Right here. Once they're inside, they're making a mess and searching for stuff like safes, cash, and jewelry. Basically, anything small and valuable they can sell off quick. Yeah, stop. Right here. There's been some security cam footage showing them stuffing a big safe into a small, probably dark SUV and taking off. The suspects are a few young guys in their late teens or 20s. Let's hope they get nabbed soon. In LA, there's this bold move some burglars are pulling off. A guy walks up to a house in the middle of the day just to see if anyone's around. Once he's sure the coast is clear, he signals his accomplice, who rolls up, makes a quick call. Then he kicks the door down and goes in. Later, their crew joins in, and together, they swipe a bunch of stuff from the place before disappearing. So far, these guys are still out there, and police are actively searching for them. In Inglewood, California, a doorbell camera captured a high-intensity police chase. Three suspects involved in a robbery were seen fleeing from the police, eventually abandoning their vehicle and making a run for it into a nearby driveway, hoping to evade capture. Fortunately, two of the suspects were apprehended, though one remains at large. In Westminster, three guys decided to hit a house when no one was around. They made a beeline for the safe, which had jewelry inside worth 150,000 pounds. Lucky for justice, the security camera got a clear shot of them in action. Thanks to that footage, the cops were able to catch them. A bunch of guys armed to the teeth thought they'd break into a house, but they didn't count on the homeowner being locked and loaded. When he opened fire, they scattered like roaches, with one even catching a bullet. Talk about the Second Amendment coming in clutch for the homeowner. And just so you know, where you live can affect your odds of a break-in. The South's got it rougher, with New Mexico topping the charts for burglaries. Over the weekend in Baltimore's Federal Hill, a dad named Val and his son had a scary run-in while sitting in their car on Wheeling Street, struggling to find a parking spot. Suddenly, four young people came up and trapped them by surrounding the car. 
They flung the doors open, started yelling at Val and his son to get out, and one even punched Val in the face. Val said these kids seemed to have their roles down pat. One snatched his keys while another hit him. How's they doing this? I have to be held accountable. Um, the system that's in place now is simply not working. Couldn't find parking, so we just, uh, you know, parked right there. They had a whole scheme going. One grabbed my keys, the other one sucker punched me twice. Despite the chaos, Val managed to get the car going and escape with his son, thanks to his quick thinking as a dad. Fatherhood, uh, I guess, instincts kick in of protecting your child. And I started moving my car. I started moving my car and, and they ran off. We're, we're the parents. Um, they should be held accountable. Um, if they won't be held accountable, more of this is gonna happen. Uh, and it shows a wrong message that this is okay when it's not. The Baltimore police, with a tip from Fox Truck, found the group about a mile away. They detained three teenagers, 16, 15, and 13 years old. Later, they found out the youngest wasn't involved and let him go back to his parent, while the other two were sent off to the juvenile justice center. What happens to them next is still up in the air, but this incident has definitely stirred up conversations about cracking down on young people committing crimes. Val's just glad he and his son are okay, but is fed up with the rise in carjackings and thefts, especially by young offenders. A father found out that a man was messaging his 15-year-old daughter on Facebook, suggesting he come over to their house to meet her. Disturbed by this, the dad hatched a plan. He installed a camera outside to capture everything, pitched a tent, and, pretending to be his daughter, invited the man over, saying she'd be in the tent. When the man showed up and attempted to enter the tent, the dad and his brothers confronted him. They restrained him by tying his hands and feet and then called the police. The father indeed took decisive action to protect his daughter. In Santa Fe, New Mexico, a guy walks up to someone's place and starts vandalizing their door. The homeowner watches it all go down, and even though he's asking the guy to stop, he just keeps on going. Street, I have a break in. 151 Duran Street. No, no, okay. You gotta be kidding! No, please go, please go, please go! He ends up calling 911, and by the end of the day, they've got the guy in cuffs. Pretty satisfying to see that troublemaker get nabbed. This person kept showing up at his neighbor's place, threatening them, and even bringing various tools to try and break in, including a knife on one occasion. At my door, with a knife, calling me racial slurs, telling me he was going to me. And the fact that they did nothing, I honestly didn't know how to react. They came out to the property. They pretty much got an overview of what transpired. They reviewed videos. They spoke to the tenant, and pretty much that was the end of everything. The woman called the cops, but they didn't do much about it. Ultimately, she felt her only option was to move away. A guy made his way into someone's backyard, then pushed his luck further by breaking into the garage and grabbing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Trying to make a getaway, he wasn't looking too steady. Dropped some items along the way, likely under the influence of something. Right after the video cuts off, the police snagged him, all thanks to some sharp-eyed neighborhood watch action. This guy makes a move on a house, not realizing a mom and her kids are inside. Do you hear me anything? Hola? Yes. Hola? I'm sorry? Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What happened? Can we have a nice conversation? With who? With you. With you. What do you need? Huh? What do you need? Uh, I want to talk about a uh, situation. What kind of situation? Can you leave my house and I don't know you? I'll, I'll call the cops. Huh? I'll call the cops. Why? You don't want to talk? Because I don't know you, that's why. You do know me. 
She sees the alert on her phone, dials the cops, and they snag him. Imagine if she hadn't called the cops. A break-in might have gone down if it weren't for that security system giving her the heads up. A young guy was caught on camera attempting to break into a house. Despite his efforts, he couldn't get in. The homeowner, alerted through his phone, called the police. The would-be burglar was then arrested, not just for this attempt, but also for trying to break into other homes in the area. A guy with shady intentions headed toward a house, but as he was making his way up the steps, he spotted a security camera. Realizing he was being watched, he quickly ditched his plan and left. That security camera definitely saved the day, preventing what could have easily turned into a break-in. Two guys showed up at a house ringing the doorbell, likely to see if anyone was home. After leaving briefly, they returned and kicked the door in an attempt to break in. However, the homeowner received an alert on her phone and promptly called the police. The doorbell camera footage played a crucial role in getting both of them arrested. For the past couple of days, there have been these two trying to break into a house, cruising around in either a white or gray Ford truck. Caught on video, they roll up in hoodies, looking less like your usual suspects and more like they're ditching class. The one in the blue hoodie even cracks a smirk, like he thinks it's all a joke. What the f do you want? I'm gonna call the police right now and put some charges. Luckily, the homeowner spooked them away, and the footage has been sent over to the cops. Here's hoping they catch up with them quick and teach them a lesson they won't forget. A guy showed up at a house and began kicking the door, trying to break in. The mother inside with her kids quickly alerted the police, who arrived in time to arrest the would-be intruder. This guy sneaks into a backyard in Inglewood, California, makes a failed attempt at nabbing the basketball net, and then just loiters around for a bit before taking off. Turns out, this wasn't his only backyard adventure. He trespassed into several others too. Luckily, camera footage was on point and the cops nabbed him pretty quickly. A homeowner got an alert and saw someone rummaging through their dumpster. They quickly called 911 and in no time, a police officer showed up and caught the guy red-handed. Turns out, he was homeless and just looking for some food. After learning this, the homeowner stepped up to help the guy out. Really shows some awesome kindness on the homeowner's part. Someone left their car door unlocked, and a guy took advantage of that, swiping items from inside. He even found some keys in the car and tried his luck at the door with each one, but none worked. He ended up leaving empty-handed and disappointed. It's a relief to see his plan didn't work out. In Augusta, Georgia, there was this guy going around an apartment complex, knocking on multiple doors, trying to get someone to answer.
Fortunately, nobody did, which is a relief, because who knows what his intentions were. There's definitely something off about him. He might even be under the influence of something. Caught on camera, there's this odd old guy trying his luck at breaking into a house, lugging around two bags, and who's got any clue what's in them? He's fiddling with the door, but lucky for the homeowner, it's locked tight. Just goes to show, always make sure your doors are locked to keep the sketchy characters at bay. Two teenagers, out and about looking for some excitement, decided to make a TikTok video. In an attempt to look cool, one of them walked up to someone's front door and kicked it, causing damage. While they might have thought it was just for fun, it's actually vandalism. It's important for these teens to understand that actions like this have serious consequences. Someone rocked up to a property, snipped the bike lock, and zoomed off. Not long after, another person shows up and walks away with that hot bike. Fingers crossed karma does its thing, and these two get nabbed soon. A couple from California had a night out in Hollywood, unaware that they were being followed. Their home security system, particularly the camera by the garage, recorded the entire ordeal. When they pulled into their driveway, another car abruptly stopped behind them, and several men emerged. These men forced the couple out of their car, intimidated them with tasers, and even pointed weapons at them while they robbed items from both their car and home. Once the robbers had taken what they wanted, they left the couple in the driveway and fled with their belongings. The couple contacted the police, and within two weeks, the culprits were apprehended, largely thanks to the footage from the security cameras at their home. This guy rolls up to someone's place in the middle of the night, aiming to yank off their doorbell camera. Despite giving it his all, he just couldn't manage it and bailed. Messing with other people's stuff like that is super sketchy. Fingers crossed they catch this guy. In San Francisco, there's a chilling video going around. It captures a man's frightening run-in with a woman who's out to swipe packages right off people's porches. The footage was taken as he got to his place on Lake Street, just about 8.30 p.m. on a Friday. Things take a turn for the worse when she actually knocks a package right out of his hands. Thankfully, he was quick on his feet, dialed 911, and ducked inside before it could escalate. Cops showed up just in time to nab her. The woman in the video seems like she's dealing with some heavy stuff, maybe battling addiction or mental health issues. In a video posted by TikToker Jax, there's footage of a man attempting to break into a home. Initially, he tries to open the door but can't manage to get in. Not giving up, he goes for another try, this time seeming to aim for the ring doorbell camera before finally backing off. There's some speculation that he might be under the influence or struggling with mental health problems. Either way, it underscores the importance of keeping safety a top priority and seeking assistance if you ever find yourself in a similar situation. This porch pirate definitely chose the wrong target. Rolling up in a silver SUV, this would be thief thought snagging a package off the porch would be easy pickings. But the homeowner was ready for anything. This could have turned out way more grim for our misguided pirate. And just a heads up, in case you weren't aware, an astounding 100 million to 250 million packages find their way into the wrong hands annually. A guy tried to pull off a disguise as a construction worker while approaching someone's house, but the ski mask he wore in the middle of summer was a dead giveaway. Pretty suspicious look if you ask anyone. After hanging around for a bit with no answer at the door, he eventually took off. 
It's a relief his plan didn't work out, preventing what could have been a break-in. Interestingly, despite what many think, about a quarter of burglaries actually happen during the day, often when people are out at work or school. A girl was out driving late at night when suddenly her car's bumper fell off. She seemed really upset and began to cry over it. How would you handle a situation like that? In broad daylight, a woman walked up to someone's house and completely lost it. She went so far as to smack the doorbell camera with the can she was holding. It really makes you think about what could drive someone to act like that. Regardless of her reasons, behaving in such a way is downright creepy. There's this footage of a guy showing up at someone's house late in the night, rummaging around seemingly in search of keys. From the looks of it, he might be homeless and possibly under the influence of something. There was this guy caught trying to sneak into a house while the owner was actually there. He tried to brush it off, saying he was just looking around the apartment, but it kind of seems like he saw all those packages and thought no one was home. Oh, how you doing, man? No, I got a call. The place was empty. I was supposed to come to look at the apartment. 301, 1967. The outfit he's got on? It's probably just a trick to look less suspicious. I mean, legit handymen would have tools with them not be breaking into places. The best move? Just call the cops and let them sort it out. A guy decked out in cowboy gear showed up at someone's place late at night. He tried to cover the camera to hide his identity, but it was a bit too late since he'd already been caught on film. Who's this piece of shit right here? Who's this f Freedom mortgage? No, none for you. No freedom for you. Yeah, any other sh Stephen Wayne Davis, f hard drive. Stephen Wayne Davis, 100% f hard drive. Here, you can have your mail back, f I'll steal mail. Merry Christmas, bro. First things first. He was attempting to break in after covering the camera, but the alert homeowner called the cops and the would-be intruder was arrested for the break-in attempt. There was some trouble in the neighborhood, which is pretty concerning. Three guys got into a bit of a disagreement and it ended up being two of them against the other one. Things got a bit out of hand. Hopefully, they can figure out a way to sort things out peacefully, but it's not looking too hopeful. A woman rushed over to her neighbor's house after spotting flames coming from it. She quickly alerted them in time to prevent any harm. The homeowner then called the fire department, who arrived in time to stop a lot of damage from occurring. The neighbor's quick thinking and action played a crucial role in ensuring their safety. In the middle of the day, a guy showed up at someone's apartment and wouldn't stop ringing the doorbell. Moment to answer. Please wait. Oh. 
the manager. The manager. The alert neighbors, feeling that something wasn't right, decided to step in. I've been trying to get in there because all they said they don't know if um, anybody's in there. First of all, why would you be trying to get in? I'm trying to go in. I've asked. I already asked. You asked a kid? No, I asked a woman. Thanks to their intervention, the guy took off before he could break in. Big shout out to those neighbors for their timely action. There's this video from back on November 4th, 2015, showing a porch pirate nabbing packages from a house in the middle of the night. While he managed to swipe the package, the cops caught up with him not too long after. Just a heads up for anyone not in the know, it's estimated that between 34% to more than half of Americans have had at least one package stolen. There's this video where a guy turns up at someone's place late at night, ringing the doorbell over and over. Turns out, the homeowners caught him on another camera heading to the neighbor's place and knocking there as well. It looks like he's carrying a solar light, which he likely snagged before making his appearance. The neighborhood was buzzing, with several people calling the cops on him, and he ended up getting arrested. This guy broke into someone's house when the homeowner wasn't home. He got in and started to looking for valuables to steal.
your video already. I'm going to report police now. This guy shows up at someone's house late at night, armed with a knife. The homeowner, for some reason, decides to open the door. Fortunately, no harm came to the homeowner. But really, opening the door under those circumstances was risky. Who knows what the person with the knife could have done? In Brooklyn, New York, this guy sneaked into someone's house through the back window. He managed to pull it off without realizing he was being watched. He thought he got away with it, but his luck didn't last long. He ended up getting arrested the next day. A group of three decided to swipe stuff from parked cars. They got lucky and found one unlocked, so one of them hopped in and took what they could. Then, they split in their getaway car. Thankfully, they didn't actually steal the car. A lot of times, stealing vehicles is just about grabbing the chance. Leaving stuff out in the open, not locking up, or parking in dark spots can all up the chances of this happening. An off-duty police officer received an urgent text from his neighbor, alerting him that an attempt was being made to break into his home, where his wife was alone. Racing back, he initially found nothing amiss, until his neighbor shared a video clip showing a shirtless man stealthily moving up the stairs to the front door and, failing to gain entry, circling to the side of the house. Alarmed, the officer immediately called 911, leading to the swift arrival of four officers and a K-9 unit. What ensued was a tense chase, as the shirtless intruder continually evaded capture, heightening the fear with every slip. The plot thickened when the individual who captured the initial video encountered the trespasser again, this time in a different yard. Armed and determined, he confronted the intruder who chose to flee once more, this time into the crawl space of another house. When the authorities finally extracted him from his hideout, the full extent of his actions came to light. He faced numerous charges, including aggravated burglary and trespassing, compounded by public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and the revelation of being under the influence of potent substances alongside an existing warrant for another burglary. While it remains unclear if he was convicted on all counts, his history suggests he might still be incarcerated. A bear wandered into a suburban driveway and began digging through the trash can, likely in search of some food. Here's hoping the bear managed to find a snack. If you ever find yourself facing a bear, remember to stay calm and avoid running, as that could spark a chase instinct. Instead, calmly introduce yourself by speaking and moving slowly. This way, the bear understands you're human, not prey. In broad daylight, two burglars scoped out a house, looking for the best way to break in. They circled the place for about 20 minutes before finally making their move and breaking in.
It only took them about two minutes to grab what they wanted and flee. It's pretty unsettling to think about people's homes being targeted like this while they're out working. These guys really ought to find something better to do with their time than stealing from hardworking folks. This guy was going around, checking out cars one by one. That night, a bunch of people from the neighborhood called 911, and the guy ended up getting arrested. Just a heads up for anyone not in the loop, vehicle thefts have been on the rise lately. From 2021 to 2022, there was a 7% increase in thefts. So, make sure you're keeping your cars locked and stay safe out there. Redditor Emily Strange posted a video on the Chills Narrator subreddit, claiming to have caught a Victorian child ghost on their ring camera. The video got people in the comments section going back and forth. A few thought it might just be a kid wandering around, but then the question popped up. How did the kid get into a completely fenced area? Emily chimed in, saying they don't have kids and their yard is totally fenced off, which made people wonder if they really did catch a ghost on camera. Some guy was walking by and thought he'd sneak a peek inside a car, but he had no idea he was being watched. The homeowner came out and confronted him right then and there. Hey! Oh, stop. Stop. Oh, not, it doesn't matter. I have a cop. Stop. What? Nice to see the creep's plans get busted. During a well-coordinated burglary caught on CCTV, four individuals with their identities concealed by masks and gloves invaded a home. They cleverly prepped an escape route, even positioning a chair by the rear wall for a swift getaway. Ignoring the blaring alarm and flashing strobe lights of the home's security system, they methodically searched through the house, targeting valuables like jewelry, phones, cameras, and even the kids' piggy banks. Their crime spree was cut short as they spotted the police arriving. Despite their attempt to escape on foot, they were apprehended after a short chase. In San Jose, California, a series of brazen thefts unfolded at a single residence. At 4.24 p.m., two men made their way onto the porch and made off with a package. The situation escalated later that day. At 6.46 p.m., a woman approached the same porch, rang the doorbell, likely to verify if anyone was home, before taking another package. The day's events took a more serious turn when, at 6.53 p.m., the same two men returned, this time venturing into the backyard in an attempt to gain entry to the house. Their efforts culminated in them throwing a rock through a window to break in. After spending approximately four minutes inside, they departed with jewelry, some cash, and a laptop. In Houston, this guy broke into a house, weapon in hand, and aimed it straight at the guy inside. The homeowner tried to keep things calm, but the intruder wasn't having any of it. Bro, 
on your knees now. On your knees. Bro, on your knees. What's the issue? I'm not gonna say it one more time. Bro, what's the issue? On your knees now. What's the issue? He attacked the homeowner, leaving him with some injuries, looted the place, and then bolted. But his freedom was short-lived because he got nabbed not too long after. The guy, Joshua N. Deloach, who's 29, got slapped with charges for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and aggravated kidnapping. A car stopped in front of a residence, and a woman emerged from the vehicle. She approached the door or rang the doorbell to see if anyone was home. Once she confirmed the house was empty, she returned to the vehicle, and then two accomplices made their way to the house, breaking in. They managed to steal valuables, including jewelry, cash, and electronics. Although they initially escaped with the items, their luck didn't last long. All three were eventually caught by the police and charged for their crimes. On April 23, 2012, a burglary took place at a model home in the Mira Bay area, located at 534 Mans Harbor Drive. The local deputies were alerted to a break-in at this model home, which was protected by a security system with surveillance capabilities. The recorded footage from the system showed that the suspects had made their way into the house and proceeded to vandalize the property, notably by kicking holes in the drywall, clearly intending to cause significant damage beyond mere theft. Among the items they went after was a popcorn maker, priced around $500. The damage to the door and walls was assessed at about $700, adding to the financial toll of the burglary. Fortunately, the presence of the security camera played a crucial role in the authorities' ability to apprehend the two individuals responsible for the incident. Three guys were just wandering down the street when they decided to start checking out parked cars. Fortunately, they didn't manage to steal anything that night, but two of them got caught and ended up in jail for attempted theft. Hopefully, they'll learn their lesson from this. Over in Oakland, California, a pair of guys thought they'd try their luck breaking into a house late at night. What they hadn't counted on was the homeowner being in and keeping an eye on things. Once they figured out they were spotted, they hightailed it out of there. We can see you. I will call the cops. Get out. <laughs> the cops rolled up after a bit, but by then, these two had vanished. Speaking of crime in California, it's a mixed bag depending on where you are. When it comes to property crime, the Sierra region enjoys the lowest rates, while the San Francisco Bay Area is on the higher end of the scale. A doorbell cam in Milwaukee caught a clip of two cars smacking into each other. Luckily, no one got hurt. Pretty close call, huh? On a Wednesday morning around 10.15, a woman targeted a home right at the corner of Washington Avenue and 16th Street in Golden. She made her way into the house and quickly grabbed a bunch of valuable stuff. Within just two or three minutes, she was out of there. Thankfully, security footage played a key role and the police were able to arrest her. A doorbell camera recorded a terrifying moment when a house was caught in a blaze. The homeowner wasn't there, but his dog was trapped inside. Alert neighbors noticed the fire, quickly called the fire department, and also got in touch with the homeowner. Fortunately, the firefighters made it in time to rescue the dog and extinguish the fire before it could wreak more havoc. Big shout out to those firefighters for their timely action 
and for saving the beloved dog's life. In Kirkwood, a group of burglars made their move in the middle of the day. There were six of them initially. Five got out to do the job while the sixth stayed behind the wheel, probably to avoid drawing any unwanted attention. They launched a brick through a window to get inside the house. After about four minutes of grabbing whatever valuables they could find, they signaled their ride. The getaway car rolled up, they loaded up their haul, and off they went. The cops did manage to catch three of the culprits, but the rest are still out there somewhere. Caught on a doorbell cam, there's this heart-wrenching scene of a house engulfed in flames. Despite the fire department's efforts, by the time they got there, a bunch of valuables inside had already been lost to the fire. Thankfully, nobody was home at the time, so at least there were no injuries. There's this guy who decides to sneak into someone's backyard in the middle of the day, thinking he's about to pull off a break-in. But guess what? He didn't see it coming. A dog from the house wasn't having any of it and gave him the scare of his life. This would-be tough guy burglar turns tail and bolts, all because of a dog. It goes to show that sometimes these so-called hard criminals really aren't that brave after all. This guy decided to try and break into a house during broad daylight, probably because he noticed the driveway was empty and figured no one was home. Just as he was working out how to get in, the homeowner's car shows up, and the moment he spots them, he just takes off. Talk about good timing, right? What's interesting is that despite what you might think, a barking dog isn't that big of a scare for most burglars. Only about 34% say it would make them think twice, which is actually lower than other things like cameras, having a car in the driveway, or even just the amount of traffic nearby. When Gerald Haywood swung open the screen door at his friend's place in Oklahoma, he figured they'd be hitting the town, and well, they did, but it was a trip to the ER instead. Turns out, a snake had cozied up around one of the porch lights, and opening the door must have given it a scare. Honestly, dodging that would have been a tall order, unless you're in the habit of scanning for snakes at every doorway. I mean, who walks up to a buddy's door on high alert for a snake ambush, right? No one. Some guy rolls up to a property late at night and spots an air compressor. He decides to swipe it and makes a run for it. Sure, he managed to get away initially, but his freedom was short-lived. The homeowner didn't waste any time and called the cops, leading to the guy getting arrested the very next day. While a guy was getting kids into the truck for school, a pair of troublemakers showed up. One tried to break into the truck, but the homeowner was watching and stepped in. It was a close call with a potential car theft on the horizon. The National Insurance Crime Bureau, or NICB, really stresses taking action ahead of time to prevent car theft. They suggest always taking your keys or key fobs with you, locking up, making sure windows are fully up, and keeping valuables out of sight. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. Last week on Wednesday, in a neighborhood in Glendale near the crossroads of 91st Avenue and Cardinals Way, a 14-year-old girl was on her way home from school. During her walk, a car was seen on security footage stopping beside her. Shortly afterward, a man got out of the car and started to follow her on foot. The young girl, 
feeling threatened and in danger, quickly realized the gravity of the situation and began to run desperately. Further security camera recordings from within the neighborhood captured her frantic sprint. In her flight, she ran into a neighbor who was out walking his dog. She explained what was happening, and he immediately contacted the police. The man identified as Timothy Tan Guan, 28 years old, has been charged with kidnapping and aggravated assault. It was noted that Guan had previously been accused of similar actions against another teenager. To think that she was on her way home, and maybe I wasn't gonna get home to her. So, extremely crazy. It's sad to watch how people like this do these things to women, children, men. It doesn't matter. Valerie Frey, the teenager's mother, shared her profound relief and thankfulness for her daughter's escape and for Guan's apprehension. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.